This time on Roadkill, all of this greatness in the back of Stubby Bob. Yeah, this one's this one's really cool. Did you say wheelie? <laughs> This is the 1950 Ford dump truck that Finnegan surprised me with in episode 44. Now in that show, we decided we were gonna shorten up the wheelbase of the truck, and we did. It became known as Stubby Bob, and we drove the thing around a little bit with the original flathead Ford V8, which was completely gutless. We had a bunch of ideas about things to do with engines, most of which revolved around trying to cram them into the nose of the truck, but then, I had a genius idea. <gasps> Does it have to be up here? Oh. So the engine can be here. Yeah. Forward and down. The V-drive will be right behind the seat. This has wheelie potential. <laughs> yeah, it does. I've seen this done before. Well, if the motor's gonna be in the back, let's just mount it backwards. That's as far as the thought process had gone. But one thing we knew, putting an engine in the back can lead to wheelies. So the flathead's out. I'm not gonna miss it. What's the plan? I wanna put this and this in the back of this. So we just need to do... You know, all those things. All that. No problem. So what we have here is 454 big block Chevy that will receive an 871 Wyand supercharger. Came from a junkyard. Gearstar 4L80E, which didn't come from the junkyard. No. <laughs> and we are gonna put this thing right here and pray for wheelies. We're both like really, really stoked on this. It's because it's dumb and dangerous. <laughs> I know. As much as I loved the flathead Ford that was in this 50 Ford truck, this is gonna be one of the most genius things we've ever done. This makes Nascarlo look stupid. This makes General Mayhem look sub-average. This makes the Rotson look like, well, the Rotson. If the sun is shining on us, this thing does wheelies. Uh, this came out of a junkyard and allegedly made 900 horsepower in a West Tex dyno uh, with a Pro Charger or something on it. And you paid money for it. I paid a thousand bucks for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this thing's doing wheelies no matter what. I like your commitment to this. I'm committed I'm, to this. God, I love this. I is, don't think we've had a man. project that both of us are this into in a yeah. long time. Oh, you're right. Maybe. This is the greatest thing we'll ever do. You might as well just end the show after this episode. We're like 10 minutes in and we've already made a mess. That is jacked. Thousand bucks? <laughs> Seemed like a good buy at the time. We just used a bar stool seat as a template for our trans tunnel. That works. Good thing we didn't just start plasma cutting the back wall of a cab, because <laughs> it would have gone right into the gas tank. Wow, this truck is mint, and we are about to hack it. And for once, I have no guilt, because it's going to be so good. Why do I always take this bullet? I'm always the gas in the armpit guy. Every time. Well, we are committed. We are going to mount the engine directly on the center line of the axle, which is gonna put the transmission in the cab of the truck. We've marked our cutout, and as you'll see here, I'm actually gonna do the truck a favor because this is dented. This is dented, this can't stay like this. So I'm just gonna cut the whole thing out. We'll just zeus it back together if this doesn't work. Magic is coming. That's cool. Our work here is done. So this is a Casale V-Drive. Think of this kind of like a quick change rear end. There's a gear here, a gear there. You can swap them, you can run them one-to-one, -one, you can overdrive it, you can underdrive it. But what it really does is it takes an input shaft here on a straight plane, re-angles it this way in the opposite direction down to the propeller of a boat, but we're gonna make it work on the rear axle of our truck. I could be wrong, but that looks broken. So is most everything we own, I mean, really. <laughs> Are we gonna drive the whole thing through this spline? I think so. <laughs> this just stopped being a good idea. 
<laughs> when it blows up, it's only next to your feet. You're fine. <laughs> I don't see this coming apart and throwing parts. It's when the drive shaft breaks and just beats you to death spinning around. That's an issue. Yeah. <laughs> this is really good. This is fantastic. <laughs> We're trying to install the intake manifold for the blower and unfortunately it's not lining up perfectly. They say this thing does not fit Gen 6 big block Chevys, which is what this is. So we're gonna make it fit. are heavy but they're so cool I know. there's silly people out there who will you know when they hear about what we did they won't understand it but then you look at it and you go oh that's why that's why you did this <laughs> oh this is gonna be great well i was thinking we put the gas tank up front but this is gonna be way easier and less time consuming to shove this thing right here so all that hours and hours of work that you spent building this. Finnegan's messing around with non-critical items like the decorative gas tank. Yeah. Yeah. Ready not, for it? not going to waste. Aha! See that? Right there. Finally gives me one. That's much sturdier than it was. I feel safer. This truck's becoming all about doing it right. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> even the worst blown big block Chevy can make like 600 horsepower, really without even trying. And I looked at the V drive that Finnegan had got from some boat guy and I'm like, dude, are we really gonna drive that much power through this thing? And so he called an expert and found out, no, we're not. That's the only thing I can tell you at this point. All like right. What you have is a 1967 10 inch V drive. AKA junk. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Do you want the good news? Well, there is no good news. Do you just want the news? <laughs> Great. This was built in 1967 has the smallest prop shaft Cassell ever made uh, and is only good for a ski boat with about 300 horsepower. Perfect. My level of surprise comes in right about here. Now we've got a scramble. But look at the motor mount, I mean. We haven't even started yet and we already have the wrong V-Drive. Oh boy. Finnegan did a little bit of networking and came up with this guy Slim at Slim's Fab Farm. And while he's really a motorcycle builder, in his spare time, he builds these crazy chopped vans that do wheelies. How's it going? What's up, guys? How you doing? We come bearing good. gifts that don't right work. On. That's a good gift to bear, man. 50-year-old <laughs> V-Drive for you. That's a new one. What's up, man? What's going on? How are you? I'm Freiburger. How are you? Freiburger. Nice yep. to meet you. Slim. Yeah, man. What's going on, brother? Come on in, guys. Dude, I'm excited. Right on, man. I'm stoked to see all your stuff here. Yeah, let's go for a tour. Now, I've never met Slim before, but a 10-second tour of his yard tells me we're going to be good friends. The guy builds killer choppers, wheelie popping vans, he's got drag boats in the backyard, and best of all, he's got everything we need to get our project back on track. We can pick up mine, I know that. This one will be able to... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So many ideas, not yeah. enough time. Yep. Yeah, we're familiar. <laughs> this is the hoopty. This is good. It's rough. It's my stuff's not clean. It just gets done. That's a, a 7,000 mile Winnebago 79 440. That's awesome. So you can look at this old drive. This is what I was telling you about here. This is an old top loader. This one came out of the old, uh, it was a white lightning circle boat. And these are both one inch shafts okay. um, on the, this particular one. And I beat this thing pretty hard and it takes it. And it's, I've never had an issue. Pretty good entertainment. Seats look comfy. Oh, they're not bad, man. There's actually good. some spring in those, too. Yeah. Just a little bit. It's garden furniture status. Yep. Here's the deal. I'll whip the van around, show you guys that that thing's super solid. We'll pull that one out of the van. You guys can run it on your deal, because it's already set up. And wow. I'll take that other V-Drive. I feel kind of bad. I, I do, too. And That's I'll, pretty cool. I'll swap you guys out. I want that other V-Drive bad. Okay. Because I like those late model ones. That's awesome. 
So how's that? We're thrilled if, with if that. You, uh, <laughs> if you wheelie the van for us to prove that it works, <laughs> that's the I key. think we can do this. Yeah, yeah, our level of trust is low. All right. <laughs> well, we don't have limiting <laughs> cables in it, so I can't promise that the front end's gonna come up without limiting cables, but I'll give it a beating, and we'll probably wheelie them up, but break the brake cables in the process. It's cool. I'll we'll do it right here. I'm stop you <laughs> if, if something goes wrong. We'll jump, we'll jump in front of it. Sounds like a deal. Okay, I'm ready okay. for that. Let's, All right. do this. Let's go do this. <laughs> I get to go for a ride in his van that might wheelie right now. And if it does wheelie, I don't know, we, we kind of have to make ours wheelie then, because we're about to take the parts we need out of the van that wheelies, so it's kind of a moral imperative. Let's do this. Is this really gonna happen? Uh, Oh my god, we just did wheelies on dirt. <laughs> hey dude, you know what's crazy? It's, there's no traction out here. I know, and it's uh, still doing it. I'm sold, this is RV drive. Best day at work ever. Oh my god, that was awesome. Wow. Dude, this is just insanity. Life is all about travel. You need to travel to places to get the things you need, and then you need a lot of travel in your car if you want a wheelie. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. It's good yeah. to meet you guys. Dude. Super really generous. Really cool, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Super cool with you good guys. Good to know you. Thanks, man. It was a good time out here today. Slim just gutted his daily driver wheel standing van to give us the V-Drive to fix our project car. And granted, he's got other parts. He can fix his own van. But it was running. And you know how that is. The odds of him putting it back together anytime soon are slim to none. So that was really cool. This is gonna bolt right up. Uh, uh -oh. That hurt. <sighs> Our fixture was a little wobbly. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you look like, or you're, where you're from, or how much money you have. If you have a supercharger, you're just cool. You could be bald, chicken arms, you know, bad feet. I mean, you could have a lot of things wrong with you. But if you have a blower, you're still pretty good. Well, you were asleep last night. I made yeah. you. I made you a present. Ooh, Zume. Whoa, look at that. It's the greatest thing we've ever done. It's not even done yet, and it's the greatest thing we've ever done there. It's pretty good. This is awesome. I need a beer. Over the weekend, Finnegan did virtually everything, and I went to Cub Scout camp and then had a bunch of corporate meetings, and he's wrapped it up to the point where he claims this thing's gonna fire up. But I hear him filling. Yeah. Maybe there should be we just got dynoed. oil gauge on there. <laughs> It only hit me a little bit, hey, so that's the good news. it's got oil pressure. Yeah, it's got oil pressure. <laughs> Hold on, I'll fix that. Uh, we need to buy stock in oil dry. So what you just saw <laughs> was there's a plug back here that goes directly into the main oil gallery that you would normally put an oil pressure gauge in. Got this. Currently, does nothing. The main thing is going to be keeping this from killing us, which is a real thing. 
if this breaks off of its mount or if either one of the drive shaft breaks, they're just gonna swing around and with our legs right here, it could be really ugly. So we're gonna take 3 16 plate and completely enclose all of this. Here's where I admit that um, I only measured the here, so really the parts that I bought to build this aren't long enough to actually cover that. Don't you wanna see your demise? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Screw safety, you know. <laughs> There's no death, time for death that. Death will be glorious. <laughs> There's no time for safety. If you're gonna go, go with glory. We probably should have cut this out before we put the transmission in place. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I wonder why things take us forever. This is dumb. Hey Finnegan, you know, maybe we should cut the floor out before we actually mount everything. Nah, we'll be able to do it later. There we go. Thank you. Right there. Okay. That looks good. Put the shifter right on top. Yeah. It came out of a working van. van. It's fine. Hadn't blown up. I'm sure that motor made at least 300 horse. Yeah. So we're fine. At this point, Stubby Bob is looking pretty much like it's actually gonna happen. And in walks my pal KJ. This guy is the editor of Diesel Power Magazine, but more importantly, he's our biggest naysayer. What's going on here, man? This is, uh... Yo! <laughs> Who did this? Did Finnegan, uh, you made this? We, well, did. we did this together. This is not gonna work, dude. This is, <laughs> you're gonna do wheelies with this? Total death. <laughs> Total death. Would you drive it? Nah, dude. No? <laughs> nah, man, I ain't getting in this. No, no, no. Uh -uh. What are you gonna do? You gonna do wheelies on a tow hitch? Yeah, we gotta get a, you know, titanium pad so we can throw sparks. No, bro. These guys, this is officially have lost it at this point. I'm always curious to see what you got going on, man, but I'm not digging this. So where's your money? Is this thing wheelie or no wheelie? Nah, nah, no, no, no. Cause your 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 vision of grandeur is Little Red Wagon. If you're doing wheelies, I want Little Red Wagon. Maverick. Yeah. Dragging your sparks and doing your thing. You're driving. <laughs> <laughs> I want no part That's of that. That's what I want. You're willing to just get in it, pull the wheel, put it in low, and whack it and see what happens. Yeah. It's your adamance of our failure that makes me want to make it happen. So it's not gonna work, okay? 100 bucks on trailer hitch. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yep. 100 bucks on trailer hitch. 100 bucks on trailer hitch. Yes, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I got a hundred coming to me, man. I'm, I mean, you know, and, and I'm, uh, I'm a crow eater when I need to eat it, but right now, he'll be paying me 100 on this one, for sure. Look at this. See? That's the angle the truck would be. Imagine this is the ground, and that's the truck. That's not vertical. That's totally doable, right? <laughs> I like to think I have a fairly good grasp of things and how they work most times. This time? No idea. Got nothing. At this point, I needed to call in the cavalry for some help, and so in came Lucky from Hot Rod Garage. Finnegan's off trying to buy fuel fittings. Lucky's volunteering his time right now. Look at that. I am. <laughs> there. Make Lucky work free. Yeah. That's normal, right? That's <laughs> goes without saying. <laughs> the seat's not on fire. Should I keep going? Uh, yeah. All right. I mean, I'm actually comfortable. Like, full-on power tour ready. Meep, meep. This is gonna make a really great air scoop for the engine. 
In an episode of Hot Rod Garage, you might have seen these guys steal a seat out of the general mayhem. Well, turnabout is fair play. So when we were building this carburetor scoop out of spare NAS Carlo parts, I needed some extra sheet metal, which we liberated from the hood of the Hot Rod Garage bone marrow. Okay. How much winning is there? That's a sexy b right there. <laughs> We're like the Native Americans. We don't waste anything. Moment of truth. The scoop is on. That means the truck's done. So. <laughs> or at least that nothing else is gonna happen. <laughs> uh, we're done working. Yeah. It's time to drive. Okay, let's back up 100 feet and be really happy about it because that might be the end. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the best 100 feet of your life. First test drive of Stubby Bob, and it's ridiculous. I mean, it is fast, it is sketchy, it rides like crap, and it still doesn't stop, and I don't care. I don't care what happens from here. <laughs> we just won. It does feel pretty spunky, doesn't it? And I don't think you got past 50% throttle either. No, I was yeah. way too scared. And the V drive is so loud. It can explode right now. Oh, dude, look. We haven't been able to look at it like this while we were building it. Check that out. Oh my God. See? It's actually. I feel like, I feel sick. like when we put the Hemi in the 55, this is that good. Wow. Let's hurry and get to thrashing. I want to go straight to spinal compression. <laughs> in the emergency room. <laughs> We're out in the desert where we can blast around in Stubby Bob and kill nobody but ourselves when the brakes completely fail. just a simple cruise up and down, sort of going through all the gears, which we couldn't really do, driving it around near our office. And man, it bangs the gears hard. Well, I'm claiming victory. We haven't even gotten the wheels off the ground yet. This thing's awesome. Now, KJ actually like harangued me into the point where I had to bet him because we had to at least try it. And I thought I could scheme something to drag that hitch on the ground, but I don't think it's doing wheelies, but it's gonna be fun. Should smoke the tires too. Is this fender bolted on? I think it has the potential to do wheelies. 
I just don't want to be near it when it happens. Like, yeah, I really enjoyed my time with Stubby Bob. <laughs> it's good knowing it's you, been good knowing you. <laughs> Do you think it's actually time to try a wheelie? Yes. If you see your kids doing something similar to this, stop them, okay? No, no, they can make a career out of it. Bob runs, Bob shifts, Bob kinda stops. And finally we're gonna find out if I'm gonna keep my hundred bucks or not. Is Stubby Bob gonna wheelie or not? Okay, you ready? Do it, man. I got this. That was awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna shift it. Okay, a lot of pumps. Even more RPM. We need to get it up higher. I know. Okay, well, it's your turn next time. All right, yep. I want a shot at the title. Yep, you need a shot at the title. You need to put it on the bumper. This is gonna happen. I wanna back down the little hill just a little bit. So you're thinking down the hill che could be the key? Cheat it a little bit. Yeah, I, yeah, if we can get down the hill more, it should like work the torque converter and get more cowbell. So, go? Let's go. Okay. You gotta put it on the bumper. <laughs> You're gonna fail me if you don't. I hope this works. We just kicked Freiburger out of the car to save a little bit of weight. We've let it cool off. I'm actually on a slight incline. I don't know if we get the record from KJ by dragging the trailer hitch, but I'm sure as hell gonna try right now. Uh, it doesn't even feel like it's pumping. All right, put to the floor. It all comes down to this. All of the wrenching, all the theorizing, all the smack talk with KJ. All right. Victory hurts. <laughs> Dude! Oh, that was dumb. Dude, you dragged that hitch so far! Wow! <laughs> that was amazing! <laughs> this didn't help at all. <laughs> Is what? that the mark? Yes! Jesus. Dude, you dragged the hitch. Man! Look at this. KJ! Yeah, what's up? What's happening, bro? <laughs> I'm wondering. I got something to show you. I'm waiting to see it. See this? <laughs> what do you think that is? That is a trailer hitch, I would imagine. And then all of a sudden, what's that? It caught again, huh? You owe me 200 bucks, bro. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow. Pretty epic, right? That's pretty stout. That's pretty crazy. Good job, dude. Cool. Thanks for the motivation. We needed it. Every time, man. Every time. <laughs> awesome. That was great. I need some Advil. Whew, that was cool. And that is a roadkill win. It was the dumbest idea we've ever had, and we came out victorious. How will we ever top this? Want the parts we use to build these cars? Visit jegs.com slash roadkill. Hey, one more thing. Don't forget that episodes of Roadkill go live on MotorTrendOnDemand.com about a month before they get posted to YouTube. And we have a new show that's only on Motor Trend On Demand that is called Roadkill Garage. So right now, check out this teaser for the latest episode of Roadkill that is live right now on Motor Trend On Demand. <laughs> This is a car that will never forget its roots. <laughs> this is junk. This episode of Roadkill is live right now at MotorTrendOnDemand.com. Because the travel is just insane. Right. So when it comes up, it's got that travel. And it has boom, that, that and jerk, then it snaps huh? the tire up. So this gas came out of Bob which means it was purchased last July, I think. I'm sure it'll run fine in this 707 horsepower Hellcat engine. <laughs> Does this filler neck go to the gas tank now? You awake, Dave? No. It's a guaranteed deal. There's no way it can't pop up. Wop, 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 wop. All right, look at the action on that one. First, second, third, fourth, neutral. Reverse, park. Please don't spark. Ah, ah. Got me. Did it get you? Oh, and yeah, then, you just pulled the wheel. And then it jerks the wheel Oh, dude, you go, with that ratio, yeah. if you dump that thing and you got that ratio and it's making some up travel, bam, you're up. <laughs> this is awesome.